Welcome to Code Corner with Katie. What's on Thinking Man's mind today? How do I find the clear opening width for ADA and egress? Another great question. Come on in, let's check it out. I'll be basing my answer today using references from IBC 2015 and ANSI A117.1. Other editions are similar. Always consult your state and local codes as well. The nice thing is we don't have a conflict here. ADA requires 32 inches minimum clear, and egress chapter 10 of the IBC also requires 32 inches minimum clear, unless by exception. And how do we get the clear width? It's measured with the door open 90 degrees from the face of the door to the face of the stop of the frame. And any door that's hung in butt hinges, continuous hinges, or offset pivots, the results are the same. Let's do a little bit of math. You take the door thickness plus the frame stop thickness times two. So for example, a one and three quarter inch thick door is most standard in this industry. You add that to the five eighth stop on each side and that comes up with three inches. Then you just subtract the three inches from the nominal width of a single door. So a 36 inch door actually gives us 33 inches clear, which exceeds the 32 inches that is required. 42 inch door minus three would be 39 inches clear and a four foot leaf 48 minus three is 45. For a pair of doors, all you have to do is double that. We can't always measure existing doors, but you can do the math. And so it's really simple. Just remember, subtract three from a single and six from a pair. That's going to get you close enough. Anything that's super close, then you may need to take into account things like a removable mullion. But let's take a look at what that looks like in real life. I measured a door from the face of the door to the face of the stop. And as you can see with the ruler extended, that gives us 33 inches clear for a three foot door. And this is an aluminum frame. So it doesn't really matter whether it's a wood frame, hollow metal or aluminum, you get the same result. And the question is, well, why don't I have to take into consideration the hardware? As long as the hardware does not project off the face of the door more than four inches, and as long as it's not lower than 34 inches, then you're fine. You go from the face of the door. You don't have to take the hardware into account. For more information and continuing education opportunities, please visit Asa Abloy Academy by clicking in the link in the comments below please click like and subscribe to this channel. You can follow me on Twitter at our consultant and or connect with me on LinkedIn for updates. You can email katherine.flower at asaabloy.com if you happen to have a code question that you'd like to see featured on a future episode. Thanks for joining me in the Code Corner today. My name is Katie Flower and my goal is to help you achieve safe security in the built environment.